Hey everybody, it's Matt with Treble Life. My producer likes to send me songs, and in this case, this is a song I have not seen nor heard before. And I get the joy of listening to it, adding some comments to it, and looking at it from a technical guitar player's perspective. I don't critique the song, I don't critique the singer's words if there's words, I don't critique their heart or their passion, I just listen to guitar work. So let's go, ready? Okay, so that alone is enough to give me pause because that was a really cool riff on the guitar. And all, so let's, let's continue. Okay, a couple things that I'm hearing. I hear some hybrid picking techniques. Now to me, hybrid picking technique is where you have a pick in your first finger and thumb, but you're picking with these two. And it really kind of comes out of classical guitar playing, the way I was brought up 50 some odd years ago was classical music. But in this case, I've added a pick. So I think I've, I'm hearing hybrid picking technique and a great deal of Spanish guitar influence. Could be wrong. Okay, that's pretty cool. And it, oh my gosh, so there's like several things in that little... So first of all, the drummer and the bass come in more prominently, and that's really cool. You, it's wonderful to hear a song that has that kind of movement. One of my favorite things is chromatic movements from a guitar player. And if you remember, chromatic is where you're basically playing from one note to another and all notes in between, and you will hear that in that little riff that he just played. Another fun thing about this to me is not only are they playing single notes, but they're also adding chordal movements into the song. And that's really very cool. It really shows that they know the fretboard quite well, quite frankly. That was pretty awesome. Okay, that's cool. I, what I, what's interesting is I hear the, the characteristics of steel string guitar, but I actually think that these are nylon string electric guitars. Because uh, you can hear it on their finger picking style, and it just sounds like a classical guitar, electrified. Hey, they're not smiling ever though, but that's okay, it's a music video. But well, there's a lot to learn from this song. So now they've basically kind of dropped the drummer and they've moved into another movement or portion of the song. I shouldn't say drop the drummer, that sounds bad. The drummer's not playing at this point. Just with some accents. Now, in this case, they've kind of jumped into a whole nother version of the song. It's keeping the same tempo, it sounds like to me. And someone's whistling. That's unique. If I were in this band, I'd give everybody in that band a solo chance, like the drummer and the bass player. Maybe not the whistler, though. But everybody else, I'd give them a solo chance. Yeah, he needs a solo. So there's not all, there's just wonderful movements. There's also good harmonics in, in the, the song. It's really, really a fantastic song. I've never heard.
So to me, the picking technique that you hear in that is multi-fingered, and again, a hybrid picking technique is my guess. A pick with two or maybe three fingers if they're strong enough. I can't get my pinky to work hybrid-wise, but I can get these two to work wise, to work. And that can really add a lot of flavor and uh, really expand how you can play lead guitar. And now we're back to the whistler. It's a great song. Great musicianship. So that's the end of the song. There's a lot of wonderful takeaways to take away from a song like this. First of all, my first reaction to it is after 50 years of playing kind of in the old school rock and roll, Jimmy Page, Jimi Hendrix, which are still in, tremendous innovators that carry on in today, this is another level of innovation that I really enjoy. And it really takes a guitar to another level. And there's a lot that you and I can learn from chromatic movements, hybrid picking techniques, using different guitars with different kinds of strings. In this case, maybe classical or nylon string is my guess. It is tremendous quality of note values. There's not a ton of distortion on top of it, hiding any uh, of their skill sets. because All their skill sets are exposed is what I'm getting to. So it's really exciting to see this kind of music. Now I'm gonna go listen to it again. Uh, please let me know in your comments below what you think I've missed, what you would add that stood out to you. And thank you for watching. And please subscribe. Your subscription means a lot to me and I greatly appreciate it.